One thing I've said for the longest, and it remains to be the truest thing in the world, is you can never, never, as Jericho would say, ever, I swear, when he does that, it sounds like he's trying to take a dump. It's like, ever, plop. You can never please the wrestling fans. You can't. Give them what they want. Eh, maybe they like it for a month or two, and then they're unhappy. I swear, as someone that actually has ADD, well, ADHD, same thing, pretty similar. Wrestling fans are the most ADD people in the world. The biggest thing they've been asking for for so long was another Attitude Era. We want more Attitude Era type stuff. I don't know where this misconception that Attitude Era had these amazing matches. As someone who lived through it, let me tell you. The matches were short. The matches were not even one star usually. There was sometimes zero stars. I tell you what, there was no... Do the look up. Those of you who are Dave Meltzer worshippers, do the look up. Not one five-star match in WWE, WWF, during the Attitude Era. So why is it the highest rated point in wrestling history? Think about it, even from the 80s. If you want to calculate the ratings for primetime wrestling, all-American wrestling, Saturday morning WWF superstars... They still weren't as high as they were in the Attitude Era. So, it wasn't five-star matches. What made the Attitude Era so big? <clears throat> it was a combination of things. Yeah, the violence had something to do with it. But it, let's be honest. It was mostly because of sexy and compelling storytelling. The indie marks and the AEW fanboys of today think five-star matches is what's most important. It's not. If the WWE woke up tomorrow morning... Vince McMahon woke up and said, you know what? We're going back to an edgy product. We're going back to scantily clad women. We're going back to compelling storytelling. We're going back to everyone on the card having a story. From the bottom, the first guy on the card had a story. And the main eventers had stories. We're going back to that. The numbers would skyrocket. Even if there were zero five-star matches. Because you got to remember, as somebody who's been a fan probably longer than most of y'all, Wrestling is fake. <laughs> to me, the, the quote-unquote matches that are five-star matches look more like ballerina. Look more like dancing. Now, there's nothing wrong with five-star matches. I'm not shitting on it. Five-star matches are a great thing to have. But without the storytelling, they mean nothing. Think about it this way. The Undertaker, The Rock, Stone Cold are three of the most successful people in wrestling history. And they've all, Hulk Hogan, also another successful guy, they've all said the wrestling is second to character and storytelling. The wrestling is second to it. Undertaker did a shoot interview with a pastor not too long ago. And right there he said the most important thing in wrestling is character. Storytelling. Those are the most important things in wrestling is character and storytelling. Undertaker's words, come on, he's an icon. If anyone should be listened to, it should be him. But if you ask the indie barks, if you ask the AEW fanboys, and to a certain extent, some of the WWE audience as well, five-star matches are most important. Back in the day, back during the Attitude Era, when we would defend wrestling, we would basically say it's like watching a movie. A movie is scripted, so is wrestling. But it's got drama. It's got entertainment. It's got excitement. You know, it's got all these things. Today, wrestling really doesn't have storytelling and drama. Storytelling, I mean, wrestling in the 90s, in the, in the Attitude Era, was referred to as Jerry Springer TV. A, t -t a testosterone-laden soap opera, is what it was called. And that's what it was. And it was, it was, ratings were high as hell. So the point of this video, this Lana storyline, it's entertaining. You got the five-star fanboys. I'm just going to start calling them that because there are some in the WWE. Most of them are AEW and Indy Marks. I'm calling them the five-star fanboys. Sitting there, oh, this is stupid. This is horrible. It's literally... A modern day take on the Val Venus storyline 
from the Attitude Era, which everyone talks about they want back. See, no, no, no. What people want, basically, what it's about is the blood. They want blood. And I've had a lot of people, when I mention the sexuality aspect, go, if you want sexy, go watch porn. Okay, if you want blood, go watch UFC. If you want a five-star type of match with blood and violence, go watch UFC. There were actually fans complaining when the wrestlers started putting their hands up from chair shots. Fans were complaining. There were fans complaining that the chair shots are protected now. That they put their hands up. Scott Hall did a, an amazing shoot interview. I recommend everyone check it out. Where he said, if you really want wrestling to look realistic, if someone was coming at you with a chair, you would put your hands up to try to stop it. You wouldn't just stand there and go, okay, go ahead, buddy. Right here. If it was real, you wouldn't do that. But seriously, go look it up. There are fans complaining about protected chair shots. It looks fake when they put their hands. No, because if it was real, you'd do that too. I'm serious. Let me, let me come up behind you. And swing a legit, hard, non-gimmick chair at your head. You're going to put your hands up. But that's the new nickname. For, instead of going through and saying, AEW fanboys, Indy Marks, the small number of WWE fans. We're just going to call them the five-star fanboys. The match has to be a five-star match all the time. Constantly five stars. It has to be. It's got to have compelling storylines. It's got to have some, yes, sexy. And another beef I have, I don't care about the penis stuff. But don't say, act like it's okay to objectify men. But women are these holy peasant nuns. We can't. We can't show any more than an ankle. We live in the USA, man. There's allowed to be some sexy. It's okay. Relax. If they show more than an ankle, it's not the end of the world. But that's my take. If you really want Attitude Era type ratings, you got to give them Attitude Era type content. And again, fanboys, remember, take off the rose-colored sunglasses. There were literally zero five-star matches during the Attitude Era. And ratings were a billion times higher than they are today. Anyways, if you agree with me, which you should, oof, hit that like, subscribe, and share. If you don't, and you're a five-star fanboy, that's okay. I can educate your ass. But still, hit that like, subscribe, and share. Push comments down below. What do you think is missing? What do you think they need to do? Remember, you can't say everything's fine the way it is now because uh, ratings are still low. You got to bring in... You got to bring in the non-fan. And that's what WWE was able to do during the Attitude Era. They brought in people who couldn't give a shit about wrestling, but still watched for the sexy... Anyways, as you know, this is Shady C, and I'm always right.